to shoot for Roach. 52 seconds to go. Jeremy gets the screen, turns it down on the drive, in on Baycott, scoop it up and in! Roach did it again! He's got 10 in the lead, is three! Start of season was kind of up and down. I mean, guys had injuries in the preseason. Um, didn't really get our whole team back till mid-January, end, end of January, but I just like the, the way we stuck together. I mean, guys, outside noise is flooding in, and you're getting texts from here, tweets from here, so I'm just glad that these guys have stayed locked in uh, with the 15 guys in the locker room and kind of just focus on one goal, and, and, and that was just winning. Nobody's worried about the points or what they're doing off the court, on the court, nothing like that. Everybody's just worried about winning, so. When times got tough, that's when we got even closer. That's when uh, guys started pulling guys along and stuff like that. So just having that togetherness in the tournament is big because you can be down with you be down four or five with, with three minutes left, two minutes left. You got to just be together. You got to be the most together you have been all season because now it's, it's going to the postseason is do or die. So. Well, we're here in Rubenstein Pavilion. You can see behind me some of the jerseys and shoes and uh, memorabilia from some of our best players who have ever played here before. And anybody who's been through our program, they've made their mark in the postseason. You know, for our team, we're really excited to take the next step, start postseason play, and make our mark as a team this year, uh, doing something special in March. Quite an impressive night. It is a dominant start to the John Shire era as the Blue Devils suffocate the Dolphins. 71 to 44, the final score. And the 20th head coach in program history is off to a flying start. I'm really proud of the regular season that we had. Uh, we played a really difficult schedule in the non-conference. We were tested against some of the best teams in the country, Purdue, Kansas, uh, Xavier uh, played a really good team in Ohio State. They've they've hit some rough patches here as of late, but they were as talented as any team in the Big Ten. Beat Iowa, Madison Square Garden. Some of the home games that we had against you know mid-major teams, but really good teams that tested us. The biggest word that I can say for our team is growth. You know I'm I'm really proud of our players for their development, the way they've grown from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Uh, we're as confident as we've been as a group. Uh, the belief is there, the togetherness, and that's what makes up for a special run and being able to win games in March. It's a lively, what a catch. Then it's a Filipowski to rock the rim. Probably the, the biggest challenge this year has been uh, uh, it's been not having continuity uh, with our team. You know, we had injuries at tough times of the year, starting with Derek and Derek preseason. Uh, Tyrese actually had a groin injury in the preseason. When you don't have that individual development, especially for a freshman, it can set you back. And that's what, you know, so much of uh, the character and toughness that our, especially our freshmen have shown, has come with battling injuries and going, growing up and not in the preseason, you're growing up against, you know, really good competition, ACC play or regular season play. And so for us, that was a huge obstacle. And then I look at defining moments when we didn't play as well. You know, you think about a NC State game at NC State, which was a horrible loss for us. We didn't compete. They out toughed us and really ran us out of the gym. And those are the moments, if you handle them the right way, they can, it can make you tougher. It can make you more together than you ever could have been. And uh, I, I credit that game and the way that we handled that. And then at Miami, the same thing with the way we handled that game as well, bouncing back. and have played really strong since. And Miami brings it across midcourt. A convincing win for the Hurricanes tonight as the Blue fall on the road, 81-59. to One of the key moments of the year, we go to play at Miami, and we had a close game against them here and beat them. We go there, and we didn't, we didn't play our best by any means. And you give them credit. Uh, they were ready to play. We weren't. Uh, and after the game, uh, our players came back and they met for about 90 minutes. And I don't know what was said in the meeting, but the fact that they met on their own, 
And the fact that they met for that long of a period of time shows they really care. Uh, this really matters to them. And then the result and the action that came from it was going to play at Virginia, who at that point, you know, they had not lost at home besides one non-conference game. And we put ourselves in a position to win. And that was a key moment to the season. And it really started from our players and the ownership that they took for this team. I mean, the media was key for us. Uh, uh, just kind of just come together, have a, a reality check. Um, the meeting was, it was a long meeting, but it was a good meeting. Uh, very, very thoughtful. I mean, just talking about why you're here, just uh, what it means for you to be at Duke. I mean, that was that was the biggest thing. And we just wanted to really come together, like I said, how we have been all season. But I think this, this meeting was really just something special. Uh, we kind of touched on basically just about everything that we've been through all season. So that was a big time for us. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late to rise. You got that fire in you. It's never too late to rise. Because everybody is a Therabody. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready Big Bow Box. I need to try it first. Yeah. Kyle Filipowski has had an incredible season. He has been uh, as consistent as anybody in our team. Really, he's been our best player for this year as a freshman. He's been uh, an absolute warrior. The way that he's rebounded, he has scored consistently. And also, he's getting the other team's toughest matchup where their, their scouting report is designed to stop him. And you know some of the plays he's made late in games has been as, as important as anything. I think back to the Boston College game, that loose ball that he got. Uh, there's many games we've, we've won because of a rebound or loose ball that he's gotten. Uh, and then he's hit key free throws. The, the North Carolina game was no exception, but really proud of him with the growth that he's made from July 1 to now the beginning of the season, and then of course where we are at this point. But he's had his uh, special freshman season, as good as anybody in the country. Uh, and I know he'll be ready to go here in March. Give it to him! He baked it home! Fed it to Filipowski to rock the rim! Karen Arath, a knockout blow for Flip in the Dean Dome! Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm here with Kyle Filipowski, otherwise known as Flip, otherwise known as the Rookie of the Year in the ACC. 
Kyle, you've had an incredible rookie season, rookie campaign. Really proud of you with what we've done. Still more to come this postseason. Yeah. But what we're going to do is watch some of your highlights and uh, some of the key moments from the year. So tell me real quick, how have you felt about the season so far? I've, uh, you know, I've been really, really fortunate to, you know, play for you, play for this program, being the, in the position I am, just with the opportunities um, I've been given this year, you know, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been really just grateful for that and proud of what we've accomplished so far. But like you said, we still have so much more to, to finish up with this year. More to go. But let's watch some of these clips here and take you back memory lane. Does this feel like forever ago? It does. It really does. So this was one of the key plays of the season. Tell me what was going through your mind right here in this moment when we're right here uh, where Post has the ball. I mean, I just knew we needed to get the ball. And now, you know, Ryan left it up in the air for a little longer, so I was able to, you know, grab it and, and get a foul and have another chance at the line. So. Yeah, and the, the, the tough part was, was making the play, but also the tough part is making the two free throws, which you stepped up and a complete confidence you were going to make them. But here they are. Why don't you talk about your routine at the free throw line, where you've got that from? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had plenty of routines uh, at the free throw line, but... I hope for young kids listening, you should only have one routine. As, <laughs> much, as, as early as possible, one routine is, is the, the way to go. Well, that's the thing. I, I kept getting the routine so caught up in my head that I would just miss the free throw. So I ended up just... Were you going behind the back? And no, you know, no. Between your legs? no. I was just spinning it and stuff. <laughs> but, but then I was like, you know, I'll just make it a lot simpler and take one dribble well, to works. gather myself. It works. Yep. Okay, this is most re this is recent now against Virginia Tech, and putting your body on the line. Talk about this play. Yeah, I mean, I I saw Derek get beat. I knew that you've been criticizing me the past few few days about not taking enough charges. Criticizing your <laughs> coaching. It's it's. I think you're confusing. Well, it's, I guess it goes hand in hand. It does, but you know, you gave me some some credit for that. So that's that's what I'm gonna do every time. Well, now. your defense has come a long way, and the way you've put your sacrifice your body your anticipation off the ball. Can you get a couple more of these? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, we get you here a lot, right? At the top of the floor where you can do some different things. Yep. You wanna talk about what you're seeing here? Yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the go-tos for me. Um, you know, so what, what I've learned throughout the years, just trying to read the defense better and how they're playing it because, uh, you know, I can't just go through a straight line anymore. I gotta you know, read and react to what the defense is given. Um, and, you know, it's just been, been uh, getting used to that a lot. So right. it's going good. Okay, and Syracuse, we did a great job as a team. And the way you caught the ball there, you know, feet, feet under you, yeah. ready to catch, ready to shoot, I should say. And the thing that I've loved, we've talked a lot about with the team, the way the ball is moving. Mm -hmm. And then a really strong move inside. Okay, remember this. Does this really feel like forever ago? This really does, and I think we need a more uh, more recent highlight for this one. So <laughs> we need a we need. Well, let's make it happen then. Yeah, yeah. Dunk it down with two hands and a big time flex for the bench. Filipowski. My goodness. Are right, you and Jeremy have had a great two man game all year long? You know, talk about being in this spot with Jeremy. With his ability to get downhill and and how good his uh, mid range game is. Uh, that really gives me the ability to, you know, even roll, slip, or, or pop on those side ball screens. So it's really, a, you know, something good comes out of it regardless of what it is. Right, yeah. right. Again, catching and ready, form, yep. beautiful shot. Yep. And for you going downhill, you know, I'm not sure about the flex as much, but it's still, I love the move. I don't care about the flex as That's much. That's because you weren't able to do it in college. <laughs> <You didn't. laughs> Nicely, nicely done there. <laughs> yeah. And your spin move has been a great move for you all year, right? Yeah, yeah. There's some other moves that haven't been. I mean, we're not, we're, <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're, take that out. We're not, we're not going to get into that as much today, all right? <laughs> and the thing that I love with this is the, the celebration with your teammates, yeah. right? We've had a great bond. Yeah. It's this is one of the key runs for us in the season. Yeah. Great finish, great pass by Jake. Yeah. I really love how, you know, especially in Cameron, but just throughout the course of the season as, as we've been getting the chemistry better and playing more together on offense, it's been a lot more fun. Um, Absolutely. Just playing with these guys and 
we're all just celebrating together and, and enjoying the, the time on the court as well. Right. That's how basketball should be played. Yep. Do you know him in the background? Is that okay? No, nope, no, nope, just. But I love the passion of our fans and the way they've showed up all year. Your sure. rebounding has been as good as anybody in the country, and that started our break a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And here, that pass from Derek to you. Were you calling for it there? Or did Derek yeah. have eyes in the back of his head? Both, both. But I'd I probably give Derek more credit because he was going out of bounds and you know how to find a quick player in white to, to get the ball. Remember, in, in high school, you guys, people would tell you guys you couldn't play together. Yep. And here we are. You guys have been... Yeah. For sure. Pretty good one-two punch in there. For sure, yeah. That's what I've been telling him every day, too. Is we, we laugh about that <laughs> every day. Great pass, great finish, and the emotion that you guys have had. Like, that's, yeah. that's, what, that's what our program is about. That's what this team has done. It's so good. For sure. Okay. And this is one of those where we just, we just scrap, right? Yep. It's not the most pretty or whatever. But you just stick with it. Yep. And the will to win, that's one of the things you've done that I've loved. Just the way you compete every play, you complete, you compete in, in every single game, and our team has done that, yeah. and that's what's given us a, a chance to make a special run here in March. Yeah, for sure. I don't think we need this many replays of it, but all right, that, that's that's a good replay right there. That's a good one. And then Ryan, how he is with you? The yeah, yeah, he's done a lot for for myself and even Derek this year. Which just he's been one of all-time great teammates, and then the huddles yeah. that we have. Yep. Thank you for watching with Kyle and I. We had fun breaking down some of his highlights and the great season that we've had so far. There's more to come, but I know from the both of us, we're very thankful for all your support. You want to say something? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, shout out to all you guys for, for watching and showing your support all year long. We still have a lot more to accomplish, but, you know, I appreciate all the support and we're going to keep this thing going. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. People have trusted Reeves Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reeves Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. Something that we've emphasized since the, since the early preseason is handling game situations well because we knew we had a team that hadn't been in them. You know, besides Jeremy, uh, we had four, whoever the four other guys were on the floor. Uh, there's not the continuity together, but most importantly, understanding how to win games and how to close, you know, 
close it off where you're where you're winning or maybe you're losing and you need a basket. So we did a lot of game situations in the preseason. And then any situation we were in throughout the year, every after every game we'd show film, teach, learn, and including these last couple of games. And I'm proud of the growth that we've made, you know, playing in 11 games where it's decided by four points or less. Some of those games is not just the end, the final two minutes. It's those key spurts, whether it's the end of a half, start of a half, you're up by eight with seven minutes to go and understanding how to manage a game. Those are the kinds of things where I feel we've grown a long way and have learned what it takes to win. This is one of the key plays of the year, Mark Mitchell's block. It's maybe the best play of the season. It, it saved this game and it was really a heads up play. Jay Lucas had the scout and was yelling out what play was gonna happen and Mark's length was huge. And then to follow it up by another key play in the season, Kyle Filipowski winning the game with a loose ball and then making two clutch free throws. You know, the first one doesn't even hit the rim. The poise that he had, the confidence we had in him. The second one doesn't even hit the rim. And that play by Mark and then by Kyle to win that game was, was a huge moment for us. Jeremy's defense here into the game, we lost to Miami at home the year before and they ran the same play. And it was really a heads up experience play by Jeremy that cut off Pack on the drive and then to come up with a loose ball. This is a heads up play and I love the connectivity on offense by Tyrese and Flip. Going back and forth to find the, the right guy to shoot and hit and really put us up by three possessions. And you know that's another game situation to help us learn how to win. Tyrese here, really good drive. And again, it puts us up three two-point possessions, and our team has learned how to get downhill end of games. And this was one of my favorite plays because Mark just checked back in the game. Jeremy kicks to him and having the confidence for him to knock down a shot, and it's if he doesn't hit it, Notre Dame's coming back down with the chance to win. So Mark, you know, clutch plays throughout the whole course of the year. Whenever Jeremy gets that mid-range and shoots, I have a lot of confidence, and in that game, NC State made a really good run and the pressure free throws that Jeremy hit, that Tyrese hit, uh, we needed all of them and that's that's not an easy position to be in. Derek being in the right place at the right time, again attacking the basket and how cool is it to see Paulo and Wendell Carter back at our games in the Cameron Crazy section. Like it doesn't doesn't get any better than that. And then Jeremy in, in the clutch to put us up two possessions. He's been that guy, and him and Flip have had a great two-man game really the whole year. And again, Jeremy and Flip working together, very similar in different spot on the floor. And I love the fact that Jeremy's, I love his determination to get to the basket to make something happen. And we really trust those guys. And then the defense here was as good of a def defensive possession as we've had. Derek going straight up. And then Mark with an all-time rebound, getting in there with Baycott to come up with the loose ball. And then one more time, you know, it's a three, it's a three-point game. Jeremy's pressed up and then flip contest without fouling. And Kyle does a great job. It's a great way to cement it with a layup. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. 
It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. 2 favorite moments that stand out to me from the ACC tournament are one, you know, when I was a player, the first ACC tournament championship I've ever been a part of was in 2009. We beat Florida State and Atlanta. And for our team, we have been battling for three years to win a championship. And that was a really the, a defining step for us to win a championship. We beat a really good Florida State team and it catapulted us to go to a Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. Another one that comes to my mind is winning four games in four days with Jason Tatum, Luke Kennard, Grayson Allen, Matt Jones, Emil Jefferson, Frank Jackson, uh, that team. And we had gone through a lot of adversity that year and to come together for a special run was something that I'll never forget. The kick to Jones. Matt Jones for three. What a huge shot for the senior from DeSoto, Texas. Going for the home run ball to Tatum. Count the bucket and a foul. Boy, what a smart play. And the Blue Devils win it. The Blue Devils win it, 75-69. They are Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament champions. Well, postseason is about grinding it out, and it's not always going to be a up-tempo game and where you can get out and transition as much, even though we'll definitely work on doing that because that's been a strength of our team when we're able to turn our defense into offense. It's about grinding it out, sticking together, and staying the course. And our team has done a great job of doing that. And it gets harder. Uh, the, the amount of desperation that teams play with is just at a higher level. And we need to feel that and have that ourselves. And if we do, uh, we, can, we can be really successful heading into the postseason.